Want to master Excel as a beginner? You've come to the right place. Excel, a powerful tool used worldwide, allows for organized data management, complex calculations and insightful data analysis. In this video, we'll walk you through the basics of Excel, from understanding its interface to learning about cells, rows, columns, formulas and functions. We'll also share some handy tips and tricks. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of Excel's basic features and how to use them effectively. First things first, understanding the Excel interface. Excel comprises of a few key elements. The ribbon at the top is where you'll find all the tools you need, neatly organized into tabs. It's your command center where you can format cells, insert charts, apply formulas and much more. Next, the formula bar, just below the ribbon, is your calculation powerhouse. Here, you'll enter and edit formulas, and it displays the data or formula stored in the active cell. And lastly, the spreadsheet itself. This is your canvas, made up of rows and columns, forming cells where you input your data. Each cell has a unique address, made up of its column letter and row number. It's crucial to familiarize yourself with these elements to navigate Excel effectively. Think of these as your Excel ABCs the basic building blocks you'll use to create, manipulate, and analyze data. Now that you have a basic understanding of the Excel interface, it's time to dive into some handy features. Moving on, let's explore the basic Excel features, starting with cells, rows, and columns. A cell is the basic building block of any Excel spreadsheet. It's where you enter data such as numbers, text, or formulas. Each cell is identified by its unique address, a combination of its column letter and row number. Next up, we have rows and columns. Rows are horizontal sets of cells labeled with numbers, while columns are vertical ones labeled with letters. You can select a whole row or column by clicking its number or letter respectively. Manipulating cells, rows and columns is a breeze. To insert a new row or column, right-click the row or column where you want the new one to be and select Insert. To delete, simply right-click and choose Delete. To move them, simply select, then drag and drop to the desired location. With this knowledge, you can now manipulate cells, rows, and columns. But there's more to Excel than just this. Next up, we have formulas and functions, the heart of Excel. These powerful tools take your data processing to a whole new level. First off, let's talk about formulas. They are expressions that perform calculations on your data. For instance, adding two numbers in different cells is as simple as typing equal sign A1 plus B1 in a third cell. Now let's dive into functions. They are predefined formulas that perform specific calculations. For example, the sum function adds all specified numbers together. The average function calculates the mean of a group of numbers, and the count function tallies the number of cells in a range that contain numbers. To use a function, you start by typing an equal sign, followed by the function name and the cell range in parentheses. For instance, equal sign sum, a 1, a 10, will add all numbers from cell A1 to A10. Formulas and functions are crucial for making the most out of Excel. Practice them until you feel comfortable. Finally, let's talk about a few Excel tips and tricks that can boost your productivity. First up, shortcuts. Learning Excel shortcuts can save you a ton of time. For example, pressing Ctrl and arrow key can quickly navigate you to the end of your data in a given direction. Next, conditional formatting. This feature allows you to automatically change the color of cells based on their values, which is incredibly useful for spotting trends or outliers. You can apply this by selecting your data, clicking on Conditional Formatting in the Home tab, and choosing your criteria. Then we have Data Filtering, a real time saver for large data sets. Simply click on the Filter button in the Data tab, and you can easily sort or filter your data based on your needs. With these tips and tricks, you can make Excel work for you, not the other way around. And there you have it, the basics of mastering Excel as a beginner. We've navigated through the Excel interface, explored cells, rows and columns, delved into formulas and functions, and even revealed a few handy tips and tricks. But remember, becoming proficient in Excel is not an overnight journey. It requires persistence and most importantly, practice. So don't stop here. Continue exploring, experimenting, and practicing with Excel. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep exploring Excel and soon you'll be an Excel wizard.